There's an old story about a young woman and every time she cooks a lamb roast, she cuts the end off it before she puts it in the oven. And then one day her husband says to her, honey, why do you cut the end off the lamb roast? And she goes, well, I don't know. That's what my mum used to do. He goes, well, ring your mum. I want to know why. So she rings her mum and says, mum, why do you cut the end off a lamb roast? And you know what she said? Because that's what your grandma used to do. She goes, let's do a group call and we'll ring her right now. And they ring grandma. She goes, hello, grandma. Why did you used to cut the end off a lamb roast? And she goes, well, honey, when I used to cook a lamb roast when you were young, our ovens weren't very big, so that was the only way we could fit them in the oven. Two generations later, they're still cutting the leg off the lamb roast. Why? Because that's what they saw. Almost every behaviour that is demonstrated in the world right now, it came from somewhere. And at some point, somebody, please stand up and take responsibility. Because we can point to somebody else. That's the f***ing easy part. Anyone can blame. But at what point do we stand in front of the mirror and point at ourselves and go, you know what, maybe I'm actually part of the f***ing problem. Right now, we are surrounded by a disproportionate amount of entitled individuals who think they deserve a better world, but they're willing to do nothing to create it. All the dysfunction we're seeing in the world, it's not new, it's been there forever. It's now visible because of social media. It's now visible because we're seeing dysfunctional behaviours being documented more than ever before. Police brutality in America, and that's been happening forever. Okay, the only difference now is people are videoing it. Domestic violence, it's been happening for a very long time. Women being mistreated by misogynist, entitled, egotistical, arrogant pricks, it's been happening for a long time. Only difference now, women are speaking up. All the sh** that is going on in the world right now, this ain't new, this is old news. And one or two things is going to happen. We're going to see this and we're going to go, well, isn't that just the way that it is? Or we're going to go, enough's a f enough. At what point do we break the cycle? At what point do you stop cutting the end off the lamb roast? Jocko Willing says, there are no bad teams, only bad leaders. There are no bad families, there are only bad leaders. That's sobering. But my question to you is, would you follow you? Would you be okay if your children replicated every single behavior that you're demonstrating right now? Because guess what? That's what's happening. You're either an example or you're a warning. Choose wisely. In the last two years, we have withstood fires, earthquakes, wars, and we're now in the midst of a pandemic. Pain is not insignificant. Pain, based on history, has been the greatest awakener that this world has ever seen. Because it's not until you experience a level of pain that you start asking yourself a question, there has to be a better way. This hurts too much. There has never been more potential waiting to be unleashed than there is in this moment right now. The two greatest moments in your life is the day you were born and the day you work out why. And I would suggest most of you are tiptoeing through life right now trying to get to death safely rather than opening the door every day and jumping out of the plane and facing death head on. Because here's what I know, at some point you're going to die, every single one of you. But there's one thing that lives forever and do you know what that is? It's legacy. And my question to you is, what do you want your legacy to be? What do you want to be remembered for? Because right now, you are writing in the history books your legacy. So you're either going to wait to nearly die, or you could just live now. The choice is yours. And have you ever watched a good movie where there was just that surprise twist at the ending that you didn't see coming? Maybe that's going to be your life. Maybe there's about to be a massive plot twist. And maybe that massive plot twist is a change in trajectory in your life, and a change in the trajectory of every single person who knows you. But you need to find something that you're willing to die for, and then you need to live for it. Mm -hmm.